Okay, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Jenna Blackert. And I'm Bianca Reyna. And this is the Hot Hustle Morning Show. Today, we're going to talk about how energy healing works. And what we mean by that is some of the hands-on healing work that that I do. And Lianca does healing work a little bit, bit differently. And this all came up yesterday at, or Tuesday at the lounge. We were just going around and saying, you know, what really, what do you want to get out of this? And so many people were stepping forward going community uh -huh. for one. Uh -huh. And then the second was really the evolution of our gifts. Mm -hmm. And I thought that I would just keep this theme of, okay, these evolutions of gifts, let's just bring it to the whole show. Sure. I think that's, I think that's amazing. And when you say gifts, Janet, before we jump all the way in, what does it mean? Right. So well, yeah. I, and I maybe that's for, even yeah. like, so <laughs> I truly believe that everyone has all these capacities. They have all the clears. They just don't know how to access them. They've never been taught to access them. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Like we, how many conversations have we had? Like you're a baby, you grow up and you're taught how to deal with your body. Uh -huh. Right. On this planet, you're taught how to wash yourself, how to brush your teeth, how to do your hair, things like that. Mm -hmm. Like that's what the focus is on. Mm -hmm. And we don't work enough internally, which means we don't work enough to activate our pineal gland. We don't mm -hmm. work enough to actually reach the field and change the field. We don't, we don't do these things. And we also don't like, you know, and then I think we deny them, wouldn't you say? Yes. So and in I some ways, depending on religion, culture, or just upbringing, or just in general, um, societal, we do tend to shut those down. And they've kind of been programmed and naughtied out of us, if you will. Right. Because right. I don't want to be the person that was walking around like, I got all these, I got all these voices in my head. <laughs> right. You know, like, yeah. and, you know, they'll just give you meds for that. Right. Or, That's what we're worse, taught. Like, lock you up or, or drill a hole in your head. Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, so we actually do, we hide these things. Mm -hmm. If you see ghosts, I mean, you're kind of uh, crazy. <laughs> Per, the, sure. per what we've been taught in this reality. What if that, and let's just do a couple clearings and I do want to show you a video of some of my energy work so you guys know what I do beyond just the show and things like that. So I was getting these videos together for a reality show the other day mm -hmm. and I found this one and I thought, gosh, this would be a really good one to demonstrate. And since the group had just brought up this uh, talk about taking our our gifts further and evolving ourselves further than I thought it would be fun to, to show it. And I, you know, it's sort of interesting now that I know a little more dispense it. It makes me wonder, you know, what is going through bodies with this work, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's sort of this, uh, you know, we know how it happens with meditation. You go through these different brainwave states, you hit this gamma brainwave state. And when gamma happens, miracles happen. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they are instantaneous miracles, like people blind can, from a stroke could now see Correct. And, and, and other things like that. Uh -huh. But, you know, in the work that I do, which had been more focused on the emotional sides, which I guess it always is, right? Like that is what we need to clear up in the field. Uh -huh. So usually the conversations are more about letting go of these attachments and cords and things like that. And even in fact, in, in the work that I do in QHHT, people have also had miraculous experience because they, um, if you really want to take it very woo here, um, you know, the higher power, the SE or the oversoul, the um, source energy uh, have, have had where they have come to them and cleared things like miraculous eyesight, um, healing of the body because something was trapped in there from a past life, um, or they're dealing with something that's really traumatic current life. And it could be um, various different things that are locked in the body. Our body knows everything and mm -hmm. our, yeah. our higher power does too, right? So utilizing those two and help asking um, for those things in that meditative, almost meditative yeah. state, right? It's the same 
um, being able to uh, release and let go um, without your, um, you know, without your, mm, or of, yeah, without your front of, well, without your frontal cortex okay. um, or your ego kind of getting in that way. So in those states, you're able to drop the ego. You're able to yeah. just really be and go with the flow. Yes. Go, go, go into an inner experience mm -hmm. instead of an outer experience. So, and, and lots of people are, um, you know, are making that claim and it's not longer, is it just a claim? Now we know that it goes further than just a placebo effect. In fact, most people and scientists would even agree that there is a healing that can happen and they see it on, you know, various different, you know, charts and um, with the, their patients and, and through um, sharing of the yeah. information that these things are happening. So yeah, anyway. there's no doubt. I mean, yeah. it's not, we, we don't have to share the stories and convince everyone that no. this is happening. I sometimes um, like it though. I yeah. do. I, I want to, I like to be reminded of those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this work, um, I guess in about like 2015, um, this work started to come through and it started with that frequency that I use in hypnosis is called awesomeness. Mm -hmm. And I can tell that it's not me. It's almost like a universe that I'm connected with that is like changing this energy through me. And the participants, especially the ones I work with live and with hands-on, I've noticed that if they will just let go and go with the flow and go with the moment and be so present in it, their whole lives change. And sometimes their bodies move, so, you know, and I'm not even touching them. And I'm going to show you a little video of this work so that you just have kind of a little taste of it and um, what is possible. And when I watched this yesterday, I was like, oh, my gosh, I can actually sense what's going uh -huh. on. With us. Yeah. And then after we watch the video, we'll go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about I was like, I'll volunteer. I'll be all weird and get weirded out. That's totally fine. <laughs> Anything for you guys. <laughs> all right. So, and, and let, so I want you to think of one thing that you would like different in your like life. And I don't want you to think of it as something to, that you want to change. It could be a change. But I want you to think of one thing that you would like that that you just want that to be different, a different experience. It might even be you just want to do the dishes and be like enjoy every time right. you do the dishes, right? It could be something as simple as that, and it could be you want your whole world to change. Okay, so think of that one thing that you want different. And I want you just Me to blending a little better. That's what I want different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Go ahead. All right. And I, I want you just to go ahead and I, I like starting up awesomeness this way because it's, I can sense, I, because you feel through your body, I think that sensation, that little tickle sensation allows me to call it up. But really, once I call it up, it feels almost as if it comes through my upper back. And when it comes through me, it's almost like I don't want to use the word cloud, but it feels more like a cloud. Okay. Like if a cloud of rain comes and it goes. Whoosh, okay. And that's when I know that I'm connected direct. And I know that I have this, this cool stuff that I can do. Mm -hmm. and, it, and if you guys have practiced Qigong, usually when this comes up, you'll notice this little bit of energy mm -hmm. coming between your hands, mm -hmm. which is what I notice now. So then with these, this like coolness, I will come in and I will start saying, okay, so go into that, go into that new different reality, go into all the energetics of that, go into the experience of that, anything that doesn't allow that and allow you to actually be able to drop all the bullshit mm -hmm. <laughs> around, mm -hmm around what's keeping you from having mm -hmm. this new experience where you destroy and uncreate. Yes. Okay. All right. Now. I have a feeling you're about to blow up some shit in my world. <laughs> <laughs> now, take your hand just a couple inches away. 
and and sometimes I'll move it around. You'll you'll see in the video the other hand's usually like way out here. It's almost as if there's a, a an energy that I literally just follow. It's not always the same. Sometimes it's up here. Sometimes it's below. And what is going on in my world is usually like, okay, so how far out do I need to go to turn these mm -hmm. these frequencies, mm -hmm. these modules, so that this change can occur? Mm -hmm. And if you work on your body, so say that you've got something going on in your body. Usually I'll start still at the heart, but then say you want to work. Say you want to work on a thumb, right? Mm -hmm. Then I will literally just start at the heart and then I will kind of, okay, allow this to pull out, move it around my thumb. And I will literally just, just work it and just follow the energy. And sometimes like, so that one went to, to here. <laughs> Mine right. made me jumpy all over. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone would be different. Already. So yeah. if yeah, I'm yeah. just following my body mm -hmm. like this, you know, so I can just, you know, it's just simply a touch and I'll move and I'll move and I'll move. This isn't really where the conversation will expand to. But what I want to open up with this conversation is a conversation about following the energy no matter what. Because it's very much like, okay, I'm here with this body, hands, where are we going? Mm -hmm. And when, and usually my response then is like a dance with bodies. Okay. So, you know, a body, you know, I might start at their heart, they might open up a little, mm -hmm. and then I'll catch the tightness behind their back, right? Or I will catch you know, something that's like off their neck. And then sometimes it could be even feels like their one shoulder drops or something like that. And then I, a question will come up, you know, is there, is there a burden on your shoulder Ooh. or is there something that you're shouldering? Mm -hmm. And it's almost like my mouth always seems to know <laughs> what to say there. Sure. And then they'll be like, oh my God, I'm so burdening something and this arm will go up, right? And it's just really, it's just re a really, really beautiful process. And with it, I'm still just growing these capacities, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You know, I've done it for a few years. Mm -hmm. I haven't done it nonstop in those years. So it's still, I'm here also just to kind of grow and expand my capacities. But I felt as I, since I do have this weird gift, yeah, I, love it. <laughs> I thought it would be cool for me to actually take a minute and share this weird gift with mm -hmm. you. So that, you know, if you have a chance to work, maybe you're working on a pet, you know, or, you know, or a, a spouse or something like that, somebody that'll just let you just be with them. And in that energy, then you just start asking the energy. Okay, so, and you'll know. I mean, it's so, so interesting. Sometimes I'll just even roll over and cuddle with my husband and I'll be like, oh, well, this hand needs to be on the shoulder or this hand needs to be on this left hip. Mm -hmm. and, and he does the same for me too. Mm -hmm. And we will also always like wake up feeling at least this like beautiful, awesomeness so i that didn't really come out or work out as well as i had hoped because i would have liked you to actually have se well, seen and you, witnessed can and you take us through a little bit of the kind of just do it it's okay if you don't feel anything right now but just kind of like what the like maybe do a little process yeah so well and in this effort i mean ultimately in this work we are here to live our best lives, yes. the lack of the cliche. Sure. And if, you know, I guess I even would love to hear some of the responses from you guys. Like, you know, what is it? Are you actively working on a healing gifts? Are you actively working on creating something? Are you actively working on manifesting? And are you actually, 
are or or are you just like well i'm still the little skeptical you know i'm still just a okay. little skeptical about this i'm a little skeptical about that well i think this is probably the perfect community because i was probably the most skeptical of them all mm -hmm. right because yeah. where this started was i'm never getting a massage table <laughs> you know, like, why would I think that I would get a massage table and work on bodies? Um, I met you, you know, you'd already had, you'd just right? bought it. I know. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then it was just like, I was just so like weird to even bring it out and do anything. And then <laughs> look, 10 years later, like there's this whole world open to me. Uh -huh. And uh, what I'm saying is like, I mean, I wasn't, I was born with this, but I had to like sure. bring it out of sure. Me. And I had to be open enough to yes. say, I can do this. Yes. And I know that I can do it because of the, the testimonials and things that I see yeah. from, from the, the, the world. So I would like to give whatever I can. Um, for me, it is very much, I need to go into my own, you know, direct state. Uh -huh. And I need to ask their body to okay. go into that direct state, uh -huh. Uh -huh. like, you know, and they, and, mm -hmm. and that they're really willing to, mm -hmm. to make the change and be different. So that is a little bit of how this all works. Um, I, you know, it's, it's so interesting listening to Dispensa and listening to him talk about like how we've got to go down to these theta delta states, mm -hmm. because I don't think like, yes, that makes things faster. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it's necessary, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I usually try to get people just to close their eyes and, you know, go into the, those alpha states or even visualization. Mm -hmm. Visualization to get them to feel, like visualization to feeling. So, for example, if you would like something different in your life, I want you to feel those feelings of what it's like to already have it like you you guys know this stuff now right but we need to be reminded of it and, you. and we need to practice it yes and i i want this community to be a community where we come together and we can go yeah i do let's practice yes okay right yeah. mm -hmm. let's practice our mm -hmm. magic let's show the magic and really allow people to experience mm -hmm. it yeah walk your talk right absolutely mm -hmm. Right. I do feel like there's a lot of times where I know the information. I know that there's tools out there for me. I even, even in meditation, like I know how beneficial that is, but there are so many times just like a workout that I want to skip them. I mean, yeah. just to kind of veg out in front of the TV. And that is the one thing that, um, you know, yes, it's okay to do those things, but it's like, also, why wouldn't we want to build these into our lives if we know they create monumental change, like right. change everything kind of change. But lo and behold, there's still that like little, maybe, maybe there's not enough belief there or. And right. I I've nowhere true, has I know up. these things, but why wouldn't I do well, it? Well, So like, you know it, but you haven't experienced it. Mm. So until you experience it I, and that can happen internally, sure, you don't, know that you can have it it's sort of like if one of you came to me and said hey i want to start a million dollar business uh -huh. and i'd be like okay great let's come up with a plan and you know look at the numbers and look at what you think is going to happen each month and this that and the other and how are you going to scale mm -hmm. this business mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so that you actually can get it to those kind of numbers and, you know, and then there would be this like weirdness with them usually because that idea of having a business that bit big is uh -huh. just as pie in the sky. Okay. You know, it, and, and you do often meet people where it is the real deal and they do yeah. know exactly how they're going to yeah. do it and how they're going to scale it and the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. um, but those people... For example, there are entrepreneurs and serial entrepreneurs out there that have made million dollar business, million dollar businesses, yeah. multi million dollars, yeah. and they just keep building mm -hmm. these massive businesses mm -hmm. because of who they are, who yeah, they're they don't being, have any, yeah. and how they know already that they can have it because they've had it before. They've had the external experience. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, my invitation in the show oh. is what if we would start getting so hooked into the knowing that we know inside of us that no matter what we can create, what we're asking for. What is it that you call it? The I spotted, I got it. I do. Get, yes. I, if I spotted, I got it. Right. It can be a stretch though, Jennifer. I mean, for, I, and I might be speaking hopefully on behalf of a couple people here. It's taken me years to get there. Now, I think yeah. that we have collectively upgraded in so many ways, um, even through the process of having more things like this available. Um, 12 years ago, the conversations changed, right? So we as a collective can now see those things happening, like immediate healings, making yeah. massive money. But I, my older self that said that it took 12 years to get to this point, sometimes <laughs> wants to play that. Well, I think that that's a, yeah. And how many years have you guys been on your healing journeys yeah. or even like this work where you, where it's more common than uncommon. <laughs> Valentina said, wow, that's a big ask in many ways to actually see it and accept it as your own. Yeah, we're asking yeah. you to do that though. Like, Well, and we have to. Yep. We have to go there. Girl, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. It's all you. <laughs> Unless you don't want to go there and, and then you, you have totally have the choice. <laughs> yep. and I always say that and we have free will. Ah, she said a lot. LOL. But for but real, it, for real, like, yeah, it's baby stuff. Yes. I mean, and I even think that, you know, it wasn't until I really said, I am going to learn this, mm -hmm. you know, and it wasn't until I really said that, that I, it was like, I, I went from this, like, weird, this is weird <laughs> to, I don't know why this is happening is a, was another word. I don't understand this. And as you can see, I still can't really entirely communicate what is happening. It's the, but um, I know <laughs> that it's happening. And yeah. Yeah. And we always joke. <laughs> we have a joke on this show that we are, I know, and, and I was not my mic so hard, that we are always trying to put into words what we can't always, um, you know, it's not meant to always be put into words. And so there's a lot of ums on this show. So it's like, um, oh, um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we decided to change our ums into ums. <laughs> I think the audience didn't have more us too. Thank y'all. It says, I feel the energy. That's the easy thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Valentina. And then Deborah says, I dabble with hearing and um, creating and manifesting, but I still doubt and have issues with letting go or surrendering. Mm -hmm. So that's why communities like this um, are so beneficial because as you commune, you strengthen each other's um, clairs. You start to learn how to um, really lean in with those. You'll hear stories like, so for example, if you hear Janet, then how she is explaining how she went from, I don't know about this, to having that awesomeness and having people's bodies move off the um, massage table then then you see it right then you start to have a little bit more faith and a little more faith and then you start to see how you can play with your own gifts um and i really advise you to just start to play with that and just be really 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 open and always if you feel like there's some weirdness about like oh i don't want to invite weird stuff then just say hey i'm going to put a protective um beautiful pyramid of white light over my house my kids everything all the way out to the yards and nothing but the highest good can come through first started all this work i was super embarrassed and then when i knew that i could do greetings and um give really clear channeled messages it coming through me was still such a strange thing and i was embarrassed i mean i really i know it is embarrassing isn't it yes. <laughs> then, you're, then you really have to not uh-huh you have to shine your your weird that is guys i did get the share working if you want to watch this. oh good let's do that but it's not always the case And she is so willing to go there and receive. Oh. <laughs> and be.
Girl, they're gonna think like, what kind of witchcraft are you doing? <laughs> it's almost like strangle their fucking neck. Ah. Strangle their fucking neck, strangle their fucking yeah. neck, strangle their fucking neck, yeah. strangle their <laughs> fucking neck. All the wow. shit you implants, oh, implants, okay. holding it in place. And for those listening on audio, Jennifer has got um, oh. someone on the yoga mat oh, and she's ah. stretching and really releasing these from her body. <laughs> mm. uh. I imagine that feels great afterwards. I know. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Implants. That's Looks moving like... a lot of energy. Yes. Mother's a big holiday. That's a big holiday. That's a big holiday. That's a big I'm not carrying this around anymore. Oh, good for you. Oh. 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 Yeah. Anyway, so what an interesting experience for this chica. And I'm just like in awe. I'm like, ooh, that must feel awesome not to be carrying that crud around anymore. This is almost over. You can really, at the end, see the, the show. Sure. It's really cool. Let's take a look. We'll, we'll stay with you. It's just another couple minutes. Jenneth, you're giving like Latina actress vibes over there too. Like, woo wee. <laughs> what? I said Latina actress vibes <laughs> with her ponytail back and in her workout wear and just really in her own zone in her, oh gosh, warrior princess kind of look. <laughs> All right, you see how, so do you see how mm -hmm. like it goes from all this contraction to this like insane, insane yeah. laughter as we blow out the mics? So, and then we just take a minute and we kind of talk about it. Um, and you guys, I, I can put this in the email, by the way, so you guys can actually experience. We do kind of blow out the mics and and usually I will let the end of sessions touch feet. Depends how you know fluffy or expanded they are, but they it's almost as if they're not totally in their body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right after it's just kind of like, okay, we've astral projected something else mm -hmm. and we've, you know, stepped into a new version of you. I'm glad that you were able to play this. Yeah. I think it it's there's no words no. for this. <laughs> <laughs> no. So um no, if you are listening on the audio jennifer will also put the link for the clip as well so you can experience that too oh um, yeah let's yeah. do that um so so anyway that's a piece of the work um and how i got there well i got hooked up with a master healer that i was obsessed with for a little bit that did, did similar work mm -hmm. and then from that work this work came through and, um, and it just has, just keeps growing through me. Mm -hmm. kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's one, one reason that I want to grow a community for these selfish reasons that I really think it would be cool to, 
those of you that want to go along for the ride within a healer circle, um, I think we're probably going to, you know, start playing with that a little bit more within, sure. within the lounge and, and other uh, communities and maybe a live event soon. Valentina says, I'm not embarrassed exactly. It's more like I'm not always sure what to do with the energy after mm -hmm. or while it's happening because it's not mine to have. No, it's not. And not sure if I'm saying that correctly. No, I, I totally got that. So these are the reasons why it's great to do this in a more um, learn in a more facilitated way, because then you can learn to um, you know, put things in place like an office hours for if you're receiving um if you're receiving messages from people that are wanting to cross over, uh, you can, you'll learn to how to displace oh, right. that energy into a re regular place. Right. Oh, yes. Um, so you really learn how to kind of like really govern also, um, these, these players, um, because, you know, sometimes if you don't put some of this stuff in place, it'll just kind of run them up and you're like, what is happening? Right. <laughs> like so, what I mean, happened that with is, me? That is some of the, the, woo uh -huh. I, I knew and yeah. you know, the story, uh, I, part of my, I, I mean, I had to go down this rabbit hole because I really was crazy. Mm -hmm. Like there were people waking me up in the middle of the night being like, help, I've just had a car accident. And I'm like, I'm sleeping, please go away. I did not know other people experienced that too. Yeah. So, and uh, this master healer that I worked with, he gave me tools to put office hours in place for the, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know, taught me how to clear the entities so that I knew that I was just, you know, the frequency of me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I feel as, you know, we grow as a community together, I'd like to hand over these tools to you so that you have them too. And I can continue keep growing mine. Yes. Right? Yes. So I think it, you know, and you could continue to facilitate as well. Yeah, uh, because well, we all right. have different ways. And even if you are emulating exactly what, like if I was to do exactly what Jenna did there, it still would be completely different, different because we are all different facets of the experience of source. And that's why we're all here. Like really, really why we're all here and why we are all so uniquely different. Yeah. And so if you are being called to share something with the world, the world needs that like Marie Forleo's, you need something that only you can give, even in the, and if you think something is like, oh, I don't do um, readings as good as X, Y, Z, or I'm not like that. What is that? Um, New Jersey, uh, she's the New Jersey medium or whatever. She's like, oh, the one. Uh, anyway, she's got big hair. She's like, oh, no, she can run a lot of stuff. All kinds. <laughs> uh, you know, if, even if you're not that, there are other people that are absolutely here to receive from you and they learn and we all take it back in our own way. Some people utilize a lot of like cinnamon uses a lot of um, entertainment and lightheartedness in the way she delivers her, um, her healings and her, and her yeah, gifts. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's other people that are really uh, profound at um, making you, you cry. Yeah. Right. Or, or moves the energy. But it's the still volume. an expression, mm -hmm. you know, as you can see, yes. Oh, well, Tuesday, we also talked about suppression. Mm -hmm. If you didn't hear that call on Tuesday, it, you know, I was kind of saying how, you know, I realized that I had so much suppression because I would just put this facade over things and make everything, you know, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, instead of actually saying, wait, I know I, I'm, I'm not fine mm -hmm. and I am angry and I am just holding this anger inside instead of it being more of a potent, a potency that I could say, no, I'm not okay with this. I'm going to make all the changes I can make. And instead I just kept suppressing, suppressing, suppressing. I got in a habit of it almost, you know, just making everyone on the outside think it was all fine while I was do doing all do this suppression. Do y'all do that? Do y'all have the times where you're just like, oh, everything is fine. Everything is good. Or do you right. not know you're doing that in some places? Or do you think maybe you're having those times where or, you're like, Or even worse in another frequency where everything is just mm, boring Ooh. or everything is just meh meh 
right? Yeah, right. Yeah, nothing really or exciting. Or a little nothing. depressed or same old, same old. It's almost like you're excited to go to sleep so you can dream, mm -hmm. but you don't want to wake I've up in the morning. <laughs> I've had those times. Usually when I was really, really resisting something at work, I just, I mean, it felt like a punch to the stomach to think about what I was going to work on the next day. Yeah. So I just was only excited about going to sleep, but I didn't really want to be like, oh. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's what this work does. It gets out all uh, that. that crap. And you it does that's allow it. for you to, to move and migrate to some place of, okay, maybe I'm doing this job for a little while so I can, you know, open up a new vision. Yeah. So the invitation for you and to you can you can leave this call and practice it now is to simply follow the energy. What does know? that mean, Jenna? When you what, say that. Yeah. Well, so <laughs> we I, love I, that. I, I, you know, have you ever seen a karaoke where it has little bouncing balls? Yeah. Yeah. And it's being so present that you just follow the energy to the next bouncing ball and choose what's lighter always. What's more expansive? What's sure. Lighter? So great gravity to your center. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, some people like, use, um, that, I mean, it's, it's a way, but I really look at it as a, uh, as maybe centered, but in motion. Okay. Right? It's okay. about being all you and just going, sure. What feels like now? Okay. What feels like I'm now? glad that you put that in perspective. Cause sometimes when we say follow the energy, some people may not, and if you're really just joining us may not know what that means. Well, and I think it's also to. important because there's also the spiritual bypass of what feels light where you will be like, oh, it doesn't feel light. I'm not doing it. Oh. Whereas if you want to get in shape and it seems like work <laughs> to exercise and eat well, well, then you're in this dichotomy of possibly never having what you want because- it doesn't feel quote light. light. Do you but, see everyone but, know what it means to me light? So if something feels light for you, it's true. It's your truth. And if something feels heavy, like a daunting feeling, it's um, it's not true for you, right? So you can just let, let it yeah, go. Yeah, it could be true for somebody else, but it's not for you. Yeah. Necessarily. Yeah. It's not wrong. You could choose it. Sure. But then the universe will just redirect yeah. back to where you need to go. <laughs> and like me, or I got like that two by four over my head, like bam, girl, get yourself back together. <laughs> You keep choosing wrong. <laughs> a lot of people that have car accidents, it's like there was something wasn't going right in their life and they really needed a, a restart. Yeah. They needed yeah. to be stopped. <laughs> have y'all had any of those times where you I, like? I did in 1995. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did not want my two by four um, to come as a form of illness by any means, but yeah. I knew I was on that road if I stayed that. So I, cause I yeah. kept choosing what wasn't light for me. I knew, cause I was like, oh, does it feel like a game, like sucker punched every day. That should not feel like that. Like life should <laughs> not be that. Well, I mean, we do some like hard we work. Freezing, she said. Oh, oh. really? Boo. Allowing it to come through, freeing the light, allowing it to come in. Yeah, yeah. I agree allowing it to come in and that's okay. If that's where you're choosing, choosing, um, the more you play with your gifts, the more you will have, uh, the ability to believe them. Oh, that was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Say that again in a different the, way. The more that you, for example, when I started to do more readings, the more I was able to like, wow, I really am doing this is amazing. The more that I would even say my higher power put forth to provide and it gave me more reasons to believe that I was exactly experiencing this and the transformation my clients were having was the same. So the more you play with your gifts, the more you will have them, the more they expand. I mean, it's miraculous and much more fully with all of the energies in the world, the time is now, like you are not hearing this conversation by any accident. You are being like, Hey, it's, yeah. And, Cause you all have, I know you all have these amazing gifts. I know y'all do. Yeah. Well, so. And even if you share with them I yourself, to know what questions you have about, about energies just in general, like whether they're entities, whether they're surrogate portal, uh, you know, avatar, galactic avatars or walk-ins, 
dreams, visualizations, um, you know, things like that. I mean, let's just kind of open the conversation up for all these energies. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have questions about channeling, if you have questions about growing your intuition, let's just kind of open the door to have these conversations. I guess I kind of, you know, not wanted to go there entirely until we had the the conversation on Tuesday. That was it made so, me really I'm, open up. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm, go ahead. I'm uh, curious about intuitive energy. Yeah, well, let's. So intuition really comes from the clairs, right? Clairvoyant, a clairaudient, clairsentient, and uh, you know we all have it in all of these ways. Some of them are some of us are a little more attuned to different ways mm -hmm. of having it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, you know, to open up the door and where I started was. You know, first in a yoga class, um, one of the teachers during Shavasana said, if you focus on your third eye, which is, you know, right between your eyebrows and like a half an inch in, if you literally focus on it and give it energy, uh -huh. it will activate your intuition. Uh -huh. He said, you can start practicing your intuition by, you know, before you look at your phone to see who calls, you know, know if it's spam or not, just, mm -hmm. just play with it that way. She's like, you know, it first has to happen in the moment. And she said, and then later you'll get inklings of future or past information. Another way that you can strengthen this is to start to believe and start to, once your higher power starts to see that you are listening and by, by way of listening, it's also by um, taking the advice it gives you. So Val Valentina says, sometimes it screams at me. Well, yeah. But if people you, are different. Yeah. I was going to say, if you can give yourself a yes and no, right? So maybe your body, you ask your, um, your guides, your higher power, you kind of sit there and in meditation, you can say, okay, what is my yes? And maybe you get like a tingling, like a tingly feeling on your, like, um, I don't know, forehead or something. And then you say, okay, what is my no? And my no is like, oh, my legs cramp up real bad, whatever. Right. So like your body starts to know what is your yes and what is your no. Then when you have um, for, I think it was like 31 days. And I think one of our speakers actually spoke to this as well, but I had heard it before. Um, for 31 days, you turn over your decision-making for just very minute things. We're not talking about like, should I go buy a new car? We're talking about, should I wear pink socks today? And if you, if you get a yes, then you have to wear the pink socks. So in other words, what that does is it tells the universe and it tells your, um, your guidance that you're listening and that you follow those instructions, right? So that's another way that you continue to follow the energy. So if you get a yes, you do have to do it. That's the caveat, but it strengthens it. And so then you find yourself now making these, asking about these bigger decisions, because what I got in meditation just the other day is that we're not asking humans are not asking enough questions and for enough help because we have free will. So they can't intervene. Ourselves can't intervene. <laughs> so how cool is that, right? Very cool. Yeah. And that's something super easy we can do. Now, if y'all see me wearing some pink socks, y'all know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably never happen. <laughs> well, and I mean, gosh, I don't know about you, but don't you go to your closet and you're like, ah, body, what do I want today? I've tried that and I was like, body, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I always funny. try to override my body. <laughs> Really? No, I, I, I'm i like, even for the show, I was like, do you think I can pull off one of those halter tops? Because my body was like, I just want to be a little open and free today. <laughs> like, well, let's just make sure that it all comes on the screen. And it's not like right here. And I look completely naked or something. I know. I was like, let me make sure I'm painting this up right. Um <laughs> Because <laughs> on the drive over here, was not like that. Um, no, I, I you find myself <laughs> looking at your boobs. So I'm sorry about that. Well, there you go. Thanks. Thanks. Now everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have fun here, don't we? <laughs> but the point being is, is that could you turn over your, you know, would could you surrender? Could you turn over your will or your decision making yeah. to a well, um, stuff guidance a practice? A guidance system. And that's what that's there for. Yeah. I think the let go and the surrender stuff. I mean, I'm still, I'm still on and off with that. You know, I, I really am because I have my guard up mm -hmm. and I, I think my analytical brain is just like, I, I'm fraud patrol on this or something. Right. 
It's like, I want it so uh-huh. bad that it's almost like, eh, it's happening to other people. I can't do it. It's almost like, uh-huh. and then, you know, there's that bullshit that came in my head that one time, but it's like, no, no, you actually can. You're just not allowing mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. So then you got to play with your allower <laughs> <laughs> and to play with your allower. I mean, you just have to, It. I feel like sometimes the body is sort of like a little puppy uh-huh. and, uh, you know, when you're about to go into something, you know, your body is like, oh, I have a scratch. I have something to scratch <laughs> or, you know, now I got to turn over sides or, you know, now I've got to, you know, adjust or, you know, but you really have to be like, okay, body, you know, we're going to take care of you, but I'm asking you just to stay. And I have to kind of keep reeling in my body. And I find that that's my biggest practice and allowing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's because it's like, I'll be meditating and then suddenly I'll daydream for a second and I'll be like, oh, I want to go do that now. And it's almost like, I'll just, you know, and I have in the past, just stop the meditation. <laughs> like, no, I'm I mean, so they're, like, hungry. They're, they're right still, there's still no benefit in that. <laughs> but I feel that that is some of my internal control that keeps me from like really just letting go, surrendering and allowing to it all. Valentina says, yeah, I can do it for my sock choice. <laughs> right <laughs> that's it just start there <laughs> deborah said that <laughs> i'm sorry deborah said that and valentina said we're all just a bunch of weirdos trying to figure out what the fuck we're doing here <laughs> we're all crazy and struggling some of us are just more honest about it yeah, yeah. I with you 100 percent. yeah no i and i think that you know <laughs> but it's a fun journey to go down. Let's do it. Right. It's, I mean, I just feel like it's such a fun journey to go down. So I just thought today we'd have an open conversation about, you know, what, you know, what, what we really want to do as far as this woo goes. Mm -hmm. Right. And you don't have to share it with the world. It's maybe it's just, maybe it's just sharing it with yourself and be like, all right, I'm cool with being woo. Yeah. What can, you know, what can we create from here? And I don't have to sit there and give readings to everybody. As long as I can strengthen my own intuition, yeah. well, then damn, maybe I'm manifesting that, you know, maybe yeah, I give myself those yourself. lotto ticket card numbers, right? Like, I mean, whatever yeah. those things are, right. They can start to have, um, you can start to have more faith in those ways in which you're picking up your information. Oh, it's funny. The other night we were playing Pictionary, you know, and my daughter had a card that said bed and breakfast, and she's actually a really good drawer. So she just uh, put the card down and started drawing exactly what was on the card. <laughs> not like a bed with a breakfast to the side or something like that she just drew exactly what was on the card which was like this big house <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> and we're like okay and I was thinking geez isn't my intuition strong enough that I that I could just like know what this is you know we were like it's big Ben <laughs> <laughs> And that's actually, yes. So that's remote viewing. And I use remote viewing now when I look for stuff. I always tell my family, look for it with your brain first, because what I start to do instead of, have you ever had those times where you're like tearing everything apart? Well, what I do is I could start to like look for stuff. I'll open the drawers of my brain. I start looking everywhere with the thing and I'll have it start telling me where it's at. Because mm-hmm. I've started to really, and then when the CIA came out, when they released all those documents and it showed that people actually did, that they had, you know, full on investigations in remote viewing and yeah. that people were really doing this. I was like, oh, if the CIA was doing, I think it was the CIA, if they were doing it, then I know it's working. So, I mean, even that was just a more um, validation for me and my friend, my family, oh, but they'd love to be like, mom, where is this? I'm like, did you even try to look like you did like try to remote look? Like, yeah. I'm like, look with your brain. I used to always say that. Can you look with your brain first? Yeah. And then they come over and still ask me. Of oh, course, it's sitting right there in front of me. That's a good practice for kids. Yeah. 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 It's funny. Intuition is a really interesting beast. I really get that it is. And now that I know some of the science behind all of this, that it really is the more you do it, the mm-hmm. more it activates your penal gland mm-hmm. so that you can do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you do it better and better and better and better. And that's even the development of 
you know, psychic medium powers is really from the development of practice, practice, practice. And usually the introduction of this practice is you get hooked up with somebody else that does it. And then you're like, how did you start? And then they'll tell you, and then you start that's usually how it is in the and, in the real world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yeah. even just you being in the presence of each other strengthens your abilities as well. I so agree. by and I don't even have to be in the same room with that pe- with those people. Just us being on that call, I can pull from you and you, and you can pull from me. It's it's immediate like that. And so once you still continue to use that, like you said, then it, it um, strengthens itself, yes. and you, then you start to, to yeah. really hone in on that. It's fun. Yeah. I mean, sometimes sometimes you can even tell, like, you know, how I don't know if you were here for my hypnosis session, but it's like, I can tell like when they drop in, you know, after the first couple breaths, I can tell when yours do, they'll they'll start dropping in and then they'll be like, (laughs) and then like, I got them. (laughs) Now you will change their brains. Nice. Nice. (laughs) So, uh, that's the start of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and I, I feel like we could go on, but uh, I think we'll probably stop there. It would be fun to continue to have these conversations just that, you know, not, mm-hmm. you know, just an open conversation to help you. I'm glad you're no. back, Deborah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Be safe, be safe with those storms. Um, and intellect, I said SRV. So I'm not sure what the ad says, but I'm sure it's remote viewing. So very cool. Um mm-hmm. The other thing too, flip side to that, before we sign off, I was going to say when I was younger, I was able to see patterns pretty well. And you know this. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that was happening was I was in addition to seeing patterns and wanting to know more about climate change, um, because I was seeking this stuff out before NASA scientists were even allowed to talk to media. So I knew something was going on just around me. And I, I don't, I was young. I didn't really travel that much. But I could feel it and I could feel it just by the different things that people were saying. And then I also started having these dreams, more like nightmares of like these tornadoes that were tearing through my city mm-hmm. and everything was glass. And I, then I would have a dream of like um, earthquakes. And I remember being really upset by having these dreams because I'd be like, what the hell is the reason for having these dreams if I can't help anybody? Mm-hmm. Like if I can't do anything. And what the, what I learned was the benefit of working with somebody that has the ability to also understand all these things that I was experiencing, Mm. uh, was one, they were able to, to tell me, my coach at the time was able to tell me, look, just your awareness of it helps to dissipate some of the energy. So maybe less people died. And I was like, God, it's heavy shit. And I was young. Yeah. Um, maybe less people died, maybe more, more awareness helps to dissipate the, um, magnitude of something happening. The other thing was, is that I was also able to see how my knowing was a benefit for like, you know, humanity. Maybe it did save lives. I'm not sure. But the point was, is that it was able for me to really to understand and instead of letting it drop into my body and feeling really upset about it because I knew it was happening. And I knew that I was getting these messages that were so beyond me. I just didn't know what to do with them. And that was okay. And that I also got the message from my coach who also let, helped me move through this, that uh, I didn't have to do anything with it. Mm-hmm. The simple fact that it came to me was already the gift enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For dissipating. And I was like, okay, interesting. Yeah. So, it, you know, flip side, it can also help with your, how like you that- operate in your life, regular life. There's got to be more that's coming through on that because you all, she always wants to start with, I want to do the psychic weather right when we start. <laughs> and I, and I kind of like, you know, <laughs> well, I feel like if so many people use it as an excuse. To and that, feel bad, I, I understand I, that. Um, and I, but now I think that maybe we need to explore that because it feels that, you know, you do have some gift and calling around that. So we need to like, see what what's more about that sure and how many other weather psychics are out there you know <laughs> sure sure yeah right yeah I so that it, we can help and dissipate and have more awareness around it too right yeah right absolutely so Yay. spiritual remote viewing oh yes yeah, that makes nice. sense Beautiful. that totally makes sense thank you for that yeah any, Man, any you guys are awesome questions? we're gonna wrap up but um thanks for you know thanks for your comments because I feel that the comments are what truly brings these conversations out Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah 
Um, next week, I won't be here. Lianca is going to do our Tuesday show, and then we're taking off the 4th of July. And uh, then I'll be back yep. for the next week. Join me. I'll do some readings live on the air. We'll open up your Akashic Records and talk about what's going on maybe in your body. Uh, if you have any ailments, you know, note what side it's on. And then also, um, you know, if you have any belief that maybe you have something going on from a past life or is it current, we can do that as well. All right. Yay. Thanks, everyone. We will see you uh, soon. Bye for now.